girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about that I wouldn't survive in an apocalypse. Now, I'm only talking about an apocalypse, basically fictional apocalypse, like The Walking Dead, Terminator, A Quiet Place, those for an example. I'm not including Planet of the Apes since I haven't seen all the movies. I've only seen like one remake of it or something. I haven't seen that sort of apocalypse type movie. I've heard about it, but I haven't seen it. So I'm only going to be talking about those three that I've mentioned. Now, The Walking Dead, and oh yeah, spoiler alert for any of you guys that haven't seen these movies or TV shows. Click off now if you don't, if you, um, if you want to see these TV shows or movies, and then you can come back and if you see, if you've seen them already, or if you just don't care, fuck it. Stay until this video. Anyway, I'm going to be talking about The Walking Dead first. Because that's the one I wouldn't be able to survive in, no matter how hard I try. I've seen The Walking Dead for the first seven seasons. And I basically know the basics on how, how to manage to survive in The Walking Dead. But even if I had the specific knowledge on how to survive in The Walking Dead with a bunch of zombies roaming, roaming around, I still wouldn't be able to survive. I probably wouldn't survive even a, a day or two. Or even a week, considering that The Walking Dead is mostly, it's very selective on who, on certain people who are able to manage to adapt in a world where they can survive in with a bunch of walkers. So if you have like some sort of mental disability, physical disability, or any other type of stuff that kind of leaves you at a disadvantage, you're dead. Whether the walker gets you, or a random human gets you, or hell, even if starvation or dehydration gets you first, you wouldn't be able to make it. Like for me, for an example, I wouldn't be able to make it. Because for me, being autistic myself, I'm a picky eater. And there wouldn't be enough chicken and fries and ice cream for me to roam around because the, all the grocery stores would be ravaged because all the people would be so scared and they would take anything, and I mean anything, to salvage for like a week. I wouldn't be able to get enough food for me to survive for even a week. Hell, I'd probably wouldn't survive even a day. I don't know. I'd, I'd go nuts. But if I wouldn't be able to survive... Maybe my brothers could, because my older brother has also seen The Walking Dead, and pre he pretty much knows how to survive. I wouldn't be able to survive regardless of food, when it comes to knowing my surroundings, and when it comes to weaponry, uh-uh. I, I can maybe use a melee weapon for sure, but when it comes to guns, I, uh-uh, uh uh the thing is, guns are so loud that I wouldn't, I would be too scared to even pick up a gun and use it. And there wouldn't be any headphones around to protect my hearing, so I'll just have to manage the blasts and probably risk losing my hearing in order to shoot a damn walker in the head. So, so basically, I wouldn't be able to shoot a gun or even build a gun myself or even try to find bullets because bullets can be so scarce in the walking dead that it's so rare you're like hey got any bullets and boom they just they you could find bullets probably i don't know it's just i wouldn't be able to learn how to use a gun i mean i could try to learn but even if i did try to learn i'd still probably end up dead i could try shooting a walker at least one but then a bunch of other walkers would probably roam around and eat me first. And on top of that, not just the food, the weaponry, but when it comes to other people I care about. If there's anybody in this world that I care about the most, it's my family, some of my some, a closest friend, or a lover, or anyone that I know and care about, get bitten and turn into a walker, or end up killed by other circumstances, I wouldn't be able to live myself. I would just mentally shut down and just want to end it all. It would be too much for me to handle, so I wouldn't even survive before the show even start, for example. Next, I'd talk about Quiet Place. Basically, spoiler alert, for any of you who haven't seen this movie, 
I've only seen the first movie, not this, not A Quiet Place Part Two or A Quiet Place Day One. I've only seen the first Quiet Place movie. It's basically where these monsters come crashing down from space, and they have and they're blind. They're blind monsters, but their hearing is so precise and so sensitive that if anybody, any animal, any person would make a single noise that monster would be able to locate you with its hearing and kill you instantly. It would be a quick, simple death. Honestly, that doesn't sound so bad. But anyway, I wouldn't be able to survive either. I mean, the, the, those monsters have a weakness, but the first few, like, minutes of the movie, a lot of people just... um. It just seemed like the monster didn't have a weakness, but it was able to have a weakness. It does have a weakness. But, again, there's um, there's even, like, this TikTok or Instagram trend where they would just pick up their cat, introduce the cat, and say, this is to see if me and my cat would survive in a quiet place. They pick up their cat and roam around um, back and forth in one room. And if they make a noise, basically the cat and the human holding the cat would both die. But if it doesn't make a noise, then the cat and the human would survive. This is just, that was just a little trend that was going, going around because of A Quiet Place Day 1. Uh, again, I haven't seen A Quiet Place Day 1. I just heard that there's a cat in there and a lot of people were just making a trend about it. I kind of want to do that with my own cat. I actually want to do that. Let me go get my cat. So this is my cat Lizzie, or her name's actually Elizabeth, but I call her Lizzie. This is to see if me and my cat Lizzie would survive in a quiet place. You ready? Yep, we would survive. Good girl, I love you. So I basically wanted to make that clip just to see if my cat and I would kind of survive in a quiet place. But if it was real, there's no way my cat and I would survive in a quiet place. Because as soon as I put her down, she immediately started meowing to go back outside. So honestly, I don't blame her. She went back and she just wanted to get inside get a drink of water, then I used her for this little trend, and then I immediately put her back out. So, yeah, cats just don't know what they want. They just have the constant thinking of, who do I want to go back in? Do I want to go back out? In, out, in, out. They can't make up their own minds. Not even my cat wants to know what she wants to do. She just She's just out, she's staring at the door, staring inside, staring outside, the, just by the door deciding whether she wants to go in or go out. So my cat and I would probably survive maybe a few seconds. And then as soon as she starts meowing to go outside or go inside, we're dead. <laughs> we're basically dead. So that's it for A Quiet Place. Now for Terminator, oh God. I have a weird feeling that this whole Terminator apocalypse thing might happen in real life considering what's going on with AI at this point in time. Has nobody watched the Terminator movies or any other sci-fi AI movie like 2001 A Space Odyssey or something? I don't know. I haven't seen that movie. I just heard there was an AI in it or something like that. I just, just shit, if we ever go into like in a Terminator apocalypse just because we built AI to make it so smart. They even made AI to the point where you can even talk to it like it's an actual person. Or someone could use AI to disguise their voice as someone you recognize. So if you end up talking to your mom on the phone and it turns out it was just an AI, hackers would be having a fucking blast trying to, f trying to fit in some AI shit just so they can hack in other people's systems. And I'm thinking, mm -mm, why are you making AI? You're giving the hackers an advantage because hackers in this world, thanks to technology, hackers exist. So whoever invented AI needs to dial it back a bit.
need to slow down on it or try not to make AI too intelligent. Or a matter of fact, they even, they're even making robots at this point. Don't even think about pushing them around just, and see, just to see if they could just walk and function. Because if you push a robot around, it could probably develop AI intelligence and push us back. Who knows? I don't even want to mess with AI because I don't want to deal with the chance of having a Terminator real life apocalypse. Again, I wouldn't survive that either because I've seen the Terminator movies. Not all of them. I think I've seen all of them except for Genesis. So, yeah, those Terminator movies, don't fuck with them. Don't fuck with any other apocalypse if we ever come to it because the human race is already fucked up as it is. Everybody's m messing with each other. We just need to come to an agreement, some sort of agreement or conclusion that some apocalypses could happen, and if we're not careful, we're fucked. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!